Right now, the market. Yes, it is me, Market Vendor here again, boys. I'm at uh, Monday morning and it's right. We lost. Talk about rain yesterday. Look, they had nearly six inches of rain up in some parts of the country. When I watched some of the videos that I did see yesterday, I thought it was Dominica that I did look at that because I see all these rivers all over the place. Water, water, but all the water they're up in the east, all the water up in the north and the west, but not a drop. They're falling down in the south. But you see me, market vendor, I got a little pet peeve. And this is one of my pet peeves, and I off at it this morning like a bunt, take off and a cow. Here, we'll tell you. Now, I am reading here from another notice. I can juxtapose what I just said and saw just now with another story. That the Barbados Water Authority is today warning Barbadians who are residents in St. James that today, Monday, they'll be conducting emergency repairs to a 16-inch burst main in Jamestown Park. As a result, customers may experience low water pressure and outages. Porters, Mount Stampers, Carrollton, Lower Carrollton, Jamestown Park, Sandy Lane, Holton, Royal Westmoreland, Trent, Trent Cemetery, Lancaster, Lancaster Development, Redmond's Village, Bagatelle, Plum Tree, Plum Tree Hill, Apesil, and the surrounding districts. Why well, didn't just call it three or four parishes and that with that? Now here's the thing for market vendor. This is a point in time where we going after all that rain yesterday. I witnessed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of gallons of water flowing down to the east coast, flowing down to the west coast, and all of it can be a valuable topsoil and going down into the ocean. You mean to tell me? This has happened at least once a year, sometimes twice a year, every year. So you can't blame the one government for this. You got to blame everybody for it. Huh? How come we can't fix this problem? Uh, I look, Carl Williams built a big lake up in St. Thomas, and he's captured water up there so for the needs that he got for his farm and for the Ape Hill Golf Course and other things like that and so on. So how come a private individual could build a big able lake uh, and lead the country, we let all that water flow down into the ocean, and then six months from now, I'm going to hear from the radio, I'm going to hear from the TV, and I'm going to see from the newspaper, or oh, we have a water shortage, we have to conserve water, there'll be water outages here, the trucks will be going there, the trucks will be going there. Listen, look, we got to be able to solve some of this problem, and we got to be able to harvest. I know we can't harvest all. We understand that, right? But you could certainly slow down the flow of the water. You can build some mini dams, not more sap wells. You know, you got to find ways, build some little lakes in some of the island land that we got around the place, you know, and try to capture some of that water so that it could get down into the aquifers. Well, that don't seem like, that, that seem like rocket science to you, Karishma? No, huh? I don't think so. You think so? Uh, you, yeah, and then we'd all got water to bathe in when the morning come then. Correct. Yes, you know, now all you need is a solar heater, you know, to be able to warm up the water. Yep. Uh, after all, we watched all that water gone down the ocean yesterday, and now today we're going to hear, well, again, got outages, uh, and you're going to hear, come your children early, because we closing. Uh, mm -hmm. Or this business closing, because they can't flush the toilet. You understand the market coming from? Yeah, totally. You're going to be your favorite restaurant now down by the West Coast. I tell you, we ain't got no water. You got to come back tomorrow. We close it early. Let, let me tell you something. I feel that we ain't really got a water shortage. We got a water management problem. And we know where some of the problems is over the previous 10 years of the last government. But that's another political commentary for another time. Mark it when the golfer now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>